Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here, Transformers Legacy United Review. Today I take a look at G1 Universe Optimus Prime. This is Deluxe Class. This is based on his G1 toy. And it's pretty much just like his original G1 toy. Just a little bit smaller and pretty much all plastic. So we turn the side. You get your United artwork. Turn to the back. 16 steps. Get you all the way around. It does come with three accessories. Actually four accessories. You got the Matrix, the Axe, and two guns. We'll take a look at those in a minute. This side here. Got some nice uh, box art going on right there. The truck mode here in the front you can see how the weapons will store in vehicle mode of course you get your handy dandy instructions and i do have a problem with my figure um uh, just uh getting one of the sides of the truck panel to actually tab in i'll bring the truck in right now you can see the head on which one it is but i have a little bit of trouble this one i can get in there this one here i cannot for the life of me get this tab that tabs on the side into that so it tabs there and tabs it on his leg. That one works. One up here, no matter what I do, I can't get that thing to go in. But I'm going to do this video in reverse. I'll show the transformation in reverse. He first transforms just like the G1 Prime. It's sort of got elements of the missing link Prime with these tires here. Because they do, uh, they can move outwards to the side as well. Let's take a look at the vehicle mode. Looks really nice. Got the gray uh, paint here on the side. Coming around, we get the headlights here, the grill. We have clear translucent plastic for the windows. And it's done just like it would be in the actual G1 toy, which we'll bring in in a minute as well. Uh, you can see it's this plastic clear piece just uh, put right in the side. And that's the Matrix. It's done in like a translucent blue color. And that goes right there. Just taps up. Uh, silver paint, like I think I said already. We got gray uh, hubcaps. We get PVC wheels, so it's, it's like a rubber. So he rolls extremely well. The front wheels are pinned in. The back wheels are not. They actually just uh, snap on back there. You see, it looks really good. It looks just like the G1, just minus any chrome and die cast you know, metal. Uh, stacks are not too short, not too tall. Great plastic there. So oh, overall, he's not too bad looking. Maybe some a uh, little bit of paint or some stickers. I'm sure Toy Hacks would make stuff for this to make the back end there some lights and stuff shine. Uh, you see a little bit of hollowness on the back. That's because the original G1, this was die cast feet, not here. It's plastic. You got the peg holes, so you can always do your uh, was it armorizers, weaponizers, and stuff like that. And you got plenty of spaces here to store his accessories. We get the battle axe, and that one will go here in the front. We'll put that one right there. Then you get a gun here. This one is based on the animation look. It looks like it should support blast effects. So we do get like a little nub. But it's awfully small. My blast effects just want to uh, fall off of it. So that's one. Then we get the other gun here. And this one is based off the actual G1 toy. And what he came with. You see you got a little nub there. There's no authors anyway. You can get a blast effect to stay on that. No. He's still tiny. But. And I think this is painted black. Like it's very shiny. It's got a gloss black finish. So that gives a nice shiny appearance here. You just tap those in up here. So you can store all the weapons like this on the back end of the truck. Now, if you have the trailers, he just comes with as the cab. Now, if you have any trailers, here is my Earthrise trailer. It does have accessories or upgrade kit from non F Productions. But I did take their little piece off here because it wasn't makes it too far from the back of the truck. But you just peg that in right there. And then it rolls. It's a little higher up in the back because he's got bigger wheels based on the Voyager class uh, Optimus Prime. But that does work, so you can't support that. And then we'll bring in this Optimus Prime. It's my G2 trailer with my G1 Prime. So, and. Yeah, you got the old G2 little sound effect thing in the front. Now this trailer here comes off. This doesn't peg in. This actually pegs on. So the little back end here does form that little like peg. And this will, you can't have this piece on there. Let's go off. Then you take this and that just pegs on like that. So you can actually carry a G1 or a G2 trailer. And I think this actually fits a little better on him. It actually rolls better than the Earthrise trailer. You know, it's bigger. And it really showcases how small he is, but it's all like rubber tires here. Whereas the Earthrise trailer is, you know, just plastic. But yeah, this gives it a good smooth uh, roll. Alright, some comparisons here with my G1 Optimus Prime. 
I can see he matches it a pretty pretty well. Uh, it is a lot smaller though. He is tiny. Uh, and you lose the chrome. Like a lot of chrome wears on mine here. He's missing ha a hand and everything, but you see how they do mimic even the hubcaps and stuff on the tires are very similar to to the original G1, G2s, and the way how this opens up and you have the piece pla uh, plastic in there, just like I showed earlier on that one. The windows on the side, the transformation is pretty much spot on with this as well, except for the tabs. And I'm just, I might have to shave something down on, or on this one, just get that to tab in. I've seen other people post pictures of this, and they seem to have this one have no, it sticks out a little bit further too. So this might be a common error with uh, this uh, figure. Now, here. with this right here, you put this trailer onto this prawn, and he is so small that you can just back him right on in. And an original G1 or G2 Prime trailer can actually carry the Deluxe Class Legacy Optimus Prime. Now, if you have the Studio Series 86 Commander Class Prime, I'm surprised with this being Commander Class, they didn't actually do the PVC tires on this. They got plastic. You can take that one on, and that one rolled. But it really showcases again, like I said, how tiny he really is with this. And if you put this down, I bet you, you can probably fit in the back of this one too. I got crap out of that. Let's just roll them on in there. There you go. Yeah. There you go. He's got to get his uh, smokestacks to go underneath. Yeah, he fits right in the back of that as well. I said, pretty small. Just take your kid to work day. Optimus Prime. All right, some more comparisons. Here he is next to the other Pipes guy. I don't remember this guy's name. It's not Road Ranger. There's the other one. Um, you can see they're pretty similar in size and in length here. So, I'm wondering in robot mode if he's going to be about the same size as this. I actually haven't compared that on my own yet. And next to the class, Earthrise Sunstreaker. You see how tiny this Optimus Prime truly is. And next to the Deluxe Class Ratchet Studio Series from the Bumblebee movie. Alright, so let's transform this Optimus Prime into robot mode. Very simple. You want to untab here from the legs and from the sides. Take his legs, bring them down, untab. Pull his feet forward. You come up here, work on his arms. The smoke stacks, smoke max. Smoke stacks do wiggle, um, so they will move around on you. This untabs. There's a tab here that it locks into the arm. Spring is to the front. And it's out. So there's a tab right here, and that's why I can't get to go in that little slot. It just doesn't work on this one. Bring that around. Bring this back. I'm going to flip his head up. Maybe. Come on. Then this right here will just co go right over that. Lock his head into place. Now on his arms, get his hands. We want to bring this down. Now on my right arm, this gives me resistance. It's like a few clicks, but this one doesn't want to click down. And I'm actually afraid I'm going to break or stress mark this one. And this one spins out and closes back up. This one here in this arm does not give me a problem at all. This way it should go. Spin it around. Close it back up. And you have transformed Optimus Prime into robot mode. Now these little wheels here can untab and move out to the side. Very much like the missing link Optimus Prime. And there you go. Optimus Prime in robot mode. Right off the bat, he's got yellow painted eyes. Very much like the G1 toy. But you look at the top of his head. You see the yellow painted right up here. I'm betting he had light piping to begin with, and they painted this over to hide the light piping. But by doing so, we get these bright yellow eyes, which I do like. Now, if you look on the back of the packaging, you can see that he has oranges, oranges. You see he has orange translucent eyes, similar to his battle axe, and but that's what they had there originally, and they changed it. It's like running change. You're like, no, we're just gonna make this yellow so his eyes will pop a little bit more. All right, bringing in my G2 Prime, which is this is a G1, pretty much with the G2 logo on the back. You can see he's got the yellow eyes, and that's what they're aiming for with this. And by doing that, it makes his eyes pop a little bit more. You see the head sculpt here in the mask. They actually give him the little indentions he has on the side of his mouth plate. He has them right there as well. So, get that little smushed head going on. Blues are a little bit brighter than they are here on my G2 Prime. Of course, you can get more articulation out of this guy, but he does. It's almost like a spitting image of him. He's just the kid. 
He's the kid version of this guy. Now here in the arms, they did mold in what the stickers would look like. I don't have any stickers on my version there. And we get the Autobot insignia on his left uh, shoulder here. Look down his legs. See, everything is molded in like they would be stickers. But you see this. I don't have stickers on this. There's none of that actually there. But they molded in for if you had the stickers on the figure. For the back side, by giving them this little back piece here, we don't get that hollowness that we get in the original G1, G2, where you can just put your finger right on the inside there. And his arms and his back here are very, like, not, and it's hollow, but it's just cut out like an L shape. Here, these are more solid. So that is nice. Articulation on this guy, shoulders to there. Spin this all the way around. Slight head up, slight down, 360 all the way around. Bring that up, and you gotta get your waist swivels down here. Bring that down. You can bring that up too, and kick his forward, his, kick his forward, forward, kick his forward. My God, kick his leg forward, kick his leg back. You get thigh swivels, knee bends, and ankle tilts for days. And there's no wrist swivels there, and you get your elbow uh, swivel under underneath the bicep. So I think I did this right. Three six of that around too. So that's your articulation here. Whoa, on Optimus Prime. And since I have the G2 Prime here, I can actually show you the gun. How this is very similar to that one. They did mold in some of the detailing, so it's pretty much like the other one. But they just kind of changed it around somewhat at the very front of the gun. This is the animation version. And this is more the to toy version. See, so yeah, at the front, it kind of got that going on there. Size comparisons and robot mode. Here he is next to Kingdom Huffer. Get a nice size there. We'll bring in Blown Apart Prowl. Pretty much the exact same size as the Deluxe Class Prowl there. And we'll just go ahead and bring in Dying Ironhide, who is bigger. And of course, we have the G2 Prime, which you already saw, which was bigger as well. So I'm taking this gun here. We're just going to stick it in this hand. You take the battle axe and put it in this hand, or you can put it in the other hand. It can go in either one, you put the gun in the other. And you still have this right here on his back, so you can store the extra weapon right back here. So, all that I really can't store right there would be the battle axe. Both the guns can go there. So, Optimus Prime, Deluxe Class, really cool, very tiny. I'm mean, say he is small. That's the one thing. He just feels, you know, I don't say he feels cheap, he feels small. But he feels overall better quality than, say, Wavemate Quake, who feels more like his plastic's cheaper. He feels a little more solid. And I understand why he's smaller, and maybe in a way, is because he's got more accessories. He's got the Matrix of Leadership right inside his chest, which comes out. I, you actually have to plug that in. He's got the Battle Axe, two weapons, and he also has lots of articulation. And he also has the PVC rubber tires. So they did more for him. And he probably got a little more of the budget. So him being smaller, while well, I can disappoint some people, I still love it. It's a nice little prime. A good homage and updated version of the G1. Of course, if, if you want die cast, you know, and all that, get yourself the missing link. If you don't mind a modern version of the G1, all plastic with some rubberish tires, this is a good pickup. Is it $25 worth? I say yes for the fun and the nostalgic factor of this prime. I say he's worth the money. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.